Hey friends, today I'll be going over a static site that will deploy to Azure Storage using Terraform as our infrastructure as code tool. And we'll also make this into a series where I'll be introducing Azure DevOps and we'll be utilizing pipelines to deploy our infrastructure Terraform. So diving into the code itself, we'll create our Terraform file here, which is called main.tf. And this is where our majority of the code would exist. And for the first part, we would have the provider itself, which would be Azure RM. And you can read more about it on the Terraform website. So this is basically the official provider from Azure, which you can utilize to create resources in Azure using Terraform. And we would need three resources. So the first one would be the resource group itself, which would contain the resources we would create underneath it. The second would be the storage account. And the third would be the blob that would contain our index.html, which would be our static site basically. So let's create our resource, Azure RM resource group. And we'll name it as resource group. So this is not the name of the resource group that will be in Azure. This is just for reference in the Terraform file. So now this is the name that will go into Azure. So we'll name it rg-terraform-demo. And the location we'll be using is East US since it's the closest. So we're done with one resource, two more to go. So the second one would be resource Azure RM storage underscore account. And We'll reference it as storage account. So now you'll understand what by what I mean by referencing. So for the name of the storage account, let's name it storage for TF demo 07. And the location would be Oh, before location, we need to specify the resource group name. And we can say that, hey, look for the resource group resource, which is this. And then the name of that resource group for reference is resource underscore group. And then we can do something like dot name. So it would pick that name as the resource group name, which we want. And same thing for storage. So it would pick the location from this particular resource, which is East US. So now that we have those in here, the next thing would be to define the storage tier, the replication type, and some other properties for our uh, the storage account. So the account tier would be standard. The account replication type, go with LRS, make sure it's in double quotes. And then we also need the account kind, which would be storage, oops, storage v2. Now, we also need to specify that we will be using index.html as our index document. So index underscore document is index.html. So the last thing that we're left with that we need inside Azure is the Azure blob. So Azure underscore 
or Azure RM underscore storage underscore blob. And for reference, we'll name it example. And the name of our file in this would be index.html. The storage account name needs to be specified. And as I said, we can reference to stuff uh, using those reference parameters here. So Azure RM storage account, storage account dot name. We also need the storage container name, which would be web since we'll be using the static hosting that we, that we get with Azure storage. The type would be block. Type block and the content that we want in our index.html. As you already know, it's a text file containing HTML. And we can also specify the source of that content. And we can say, hey friends. So we'll have an h1 tag. Friends, this website was deployed with Terraform using or Terraform on Azure storage. So now I think we covered the most of it. The only few things that are left are I want to enable HTTPS traffic. So I don't want people accessing this on HTTP. And I also want to allow the public access so that everyone can access this. Oops, true. And if we save that and the Terraform does the formatting. Now, if I open my terminal here, I'm already logged in into the Azure CLI, at least that I know of. So we'll do Terraform in it that would initialize our project here. So Terraform has been successfully initialized. That looks good. And we'll go Terraform plan. So Terraform plan would give us an output of what all resources would be created. It won't create it. It would just say, hey, this is your plan. This is what it looks like in Azure. So we'll give it some seconds and now you can see three to add, zero to change, and zero to destroy. So it says three will be added. So three resources that will be added. You can, if you scroll up, can see. The first one being the resource group will be created. And the second one is the storage account and some few details. But storage account and the third one is the blob. Now, if we do Terraform apply, it would again kind of give us that output for all those three resources and also ask us for the permission that are you sure you want to deploy this? And we can go ahead and type yes. So now we have to wait and see our resources getting deployed. A few moments later. So now as you can see, the resources have been created and if we go to the Azure portal, which I have open here, and if we go into the resource groups, um, yeah, so we call our resource group as rg-terraform-demo, and we can see it created a storage for TF demo account here. And if we go into static website, so if everything went as expected, we should see our H1 tag saying, hey friends, this website was deployed with Terraform on Azure Storage. So yeah, that wraps up the demo for hosting a static site using, and we use Terraform to deploy it with Azure Storage. And this will be a series. So what I'll try to do is to kind of explain what all of the other files that were created by Terraform mean. So we have the state file and some other 
uh, best practices that I want to go over. So I'll introduce variables in the next one too. And also have a remote backend, but just not to get ahead of ourselves. I don't want to dive too deep into Terraform in this video. But yeah, that I'll save it for the next part. But we have a working website that we can deploy with Terraform into Azure Storage. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.